You're watching Cable 8, Greensboro Community Television. For 29 years, Odell Cleveland has been a member of Mount Zion Baptist Church. We have a conversation with him about his journey to Greensboro, life here, his involvement with Welfare Reform Liaison, last year's Health Summit, and this year's Caring for Your Loved One's Caregiver Workshop. My name is Odell Cleveland. I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina. I've been in Greensboro now for about mm, close to 30 years. And just really, really enjoy Greensboro. Didn't think I would stay here this long, but you know, it's been good to me and my family. Being from a small town in South Carolina, Odell was attracted to a city like Greensboro. I graduated from college in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I was a business major and went to corporate headquarters. And after doing the management training program, they said, well, we're going to transfer you to anywhere around the country. And my choices was Greensboro, North Carolina, and a little town called Goldsboro. And I looked at it on the map, and I didn't know anything about Goldsboro, but the only thing I knew about Greensboro was an article I saw about a Klan shootout in Greensboro years earlier. And I said, hmm. But being someone who grew up in South Carolina, I always never really wanted to go to small towns. So I said, okay, I'll go to Greensboro because even though I heard about the Klan shootout, I knew that the ACC tournament was there, basketball tournament was there, it was the largest city. So that's kind of why I selected Greensboro instead of Goldsboro. You will hear many people in the Greensboro area tell you that Greensboro is like a big city with a small town feel to it. Well, when I first got here, I didn't know that much about the community, corporate side of Greensboro, but also the whole thing, I used to say that you can get from one side of Greensboro to the other in 20 minutes just by getting on Wendover Avenue. Over the last close to 25, 30 years, Greensboro has changed a lot. But the interesting thing about it with all the additions and all the companies moving in and how it's expanded, it's still a small town atmosphere, but it's large enough to be large, but it's small enough to be small, and I think that's a real big deal. Now over the years as I've gotten more involved in community, community leadership, and have a better understanding of how communities work, then I'm just in love with Greensboro. I love it here, and again, it's been real good to me and to my family. Greensboro is growing so much with things like the Performing Arts Center. Will we lose that small town feel through this growth? Remember, Greensboro has what I call two big brothers. We have Charlotte, North Carolina, who's big brother, and then you have the Raleigh-Durham area, who's a big brother. When you look at the national ranking, it says that Charlotte and Raleigh are two of the fastest growing cities in the country. So Greensboro is gonna to continue to grow, but I don't think we're going to surpass Charlotte or Raleigh. So we will always be that entity in the middle that, you know, we, we're gonna do well, but as we refocus on our business, as we increase our per capita income, Greensboro is going to do well, but I don't think we'll be a Charlotte or Raleigh in the near future. In the North Carolina family, Odell compares Greensboro as a little brother to Charlotte and Raleigh. Well, I just think it's like a family. You know, you have a lot of different siblings, and we're all the state of North Carolina, and I just think that we complement Charlotte well, but we also complement Raleigh, and Greensboro is just right in the middle. And the good thing we have about it is that we have a lot of just natural, what I call natural resources, meaning the infrastructure, the highway system, and also the colleges and universities and corporations. And the Performing Arts Council or the Performing Arts Center will be huge, bringing in more businesses and everything else here. So Greensboro is, we're up and coming, but we're still not Charlotte or Raleigh. During his time here in Greensboro, Odell made a move from the private sector to the nonprofit one. Well, when I first moved here, I was in corporate America and did well. I was in sales, the national sales and transportation industry, companies like Roadway or UPS. I was the guy who would go and negotiate the contracts on shipping things around the world, different parts of the country, and started getting involved in mentoring. I started uh, doing some mentoring at Chavis Library years ago and just got really involved in the community. Well, that led to me eventually going into the ministry. And when you resign from corporate America and go into the ministry, 
then while I was in seminary, came across something called the 1996 Welfare Reform Act, and that just spoke to my spirit and decided to, you know, resign from my job and start this nonprofit called Welfare Reform Liaison Project, and that's how I got more into the community and really understanding what the community is all about.